Dragon Ball Legends recently put out LF Orange Piccolo and LF Tag Gamma 1 and 2. Once again, it's a major W for the 5th anniversary, signifying that Dragon Ball Legends is on the right track. However, there is an announcement that's a little iffy in my opinion. That is, the Super Saiyan Blue Shalot announcement. Now of course, if you were keeping up with the main story, you would know that Super Saiyan Blue Shalot was teased earlier. And while it is nice to see him get a new form after quite a number of years, it's kind of strange to me that they would go with Super Saiyan Blue, and I have my reasons for that. A bit of background on Shalot, he's actually descended from the original Super Saiyan God, according to Giblet, his twin brother. So off the bat, he has a really cool origin story. Unfortunately, it seems that Legends, with this whole main story, kind of just goes on and rehashes the original Dragon Ball story. By this I mean going in chronological order, from Frieza to Cell to Boo and so on. And during each of these sagas, Shalot actually manages to obtain a level of power that was obtained in those respective sagas, such as Super Saiyan against Frieza, Super Saiyan 2 against Cell, and Super Saiyan 3 against Majin Buu. Although technically speaking, he did get Super Saiyan God later on in the Buu saga, so I guess you, I can count that as not exactly the same, but even so. One might argue that he obtained Super Saiyan God after the intervention of the gods, so take of that as you will. So despite having a really cool backstory, Legends just decides to rehash Goku's transformations and hope that that's okay. Which I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing, but it's not exactly the most creative idea in my opinion. I mean, they had the opportunity to do some sort of a true Super Saiyan God form, or a potential story where Shalot rejects God Ki in favour of a more natural form. Whether that be Super Saiyan 4 or something else, I'm not sure. Now, to be fair, I'll give the opposite side the story, because he doesn't have very many mentors besides Team Gohan, Trunks, and Goku, so I guess he can't really learn any stuff on his own. In the future he can, obviously, he can come up with whatever he wants if he's able to, but for the moment he has to copy Goku and the other Saiyan's transformations just to beat Zaha. And again, the counter argument could be made that, you know, Whis and Beerus might be able to help with that. Eh, it depends, because they're too busy dealing with the whole tournament thing and I guess from their standpoint, it just makes more sense because Shalot is saying Goku has already reached the pinnacle of power for a Saiyan. Just have him copy Goku's style in a sense. So I guess in a way that does make sense. I mean, all of these forms are for gameplay. It's from a gameplay standpoint. My problem with it is based from a writing standpoint. The thing is, they're probably restricted to not making any non-canon forms. So they can't really help it. But I truly hope that Super Saiyan Blue is the last thing that Shalot has in common with Goku and of course Vegeta. I hope he's able to, as I said before, create some kind of new, unique Super Saiyan God form or any other type of form. Because everybody just keeps forgetting he's an ancient Saiyan, he's not a modern Saiyan. He can do... he can go anywhere with his forms, so I'm hoping that they come up with something creative. But that's just my opinion, what do you guys think? Do you like it, do you dislike it? Let me know in the comments below and you have yourselves a fantastic one. See you around.